Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Sonoran Scale Studios. Recently, we took a look at some imitation or cloned versions of some pit bull rock beasts. And if you're new to rock crawling, RC rock crawling, or you have been under a rock, I'm going to shed some light to you. The Proline Hyrax, it has been around for years as soon as it was released, it quickly climbed to being one of the most popular RC crawler tires that there is. And it has firmly held that position for the entirety of the time that it's been out. And what happens when anything is good? Um, I don't care if it's a sports player or an RC tire. When something is good and it's proven to perform and it is popular it is copied so with the high racks being out for some time the copycats have had a long time to dial this in there are a lot of different copycat companies out there i don't know if they're all coming from the same factories or if they're actually coming from different factories and they're actually truly different companies if they're just sold and branded under different names and they're all a bunch of llc's i'm not sure i'll put links in the description down below to where you can pick up multiple different sets these things vary in price i've found them everywhere from in the 16 to 18 us dollar range for a set of four i mean sometimes they're up around 50 60 dollars almost like a set of normal pro lines but i would say on average they're in the 25 dollar range for a set of four so they're substantially cheaper than a true pro line tire so i took a set of these slapped them on the axial copra got it out in some of the most rugged extreme terrain and climate conditions that there are on planet earth and if things can survive here they're going to survive most places uh, this truly is some of the most extreme environment that you can put anything through including an rc if tires can withstand these rocks they're going to withstand your average crawler course that was man-made um, so this really is a true test and this environment has been known and proven to absolutely shred tires that are not up to par so we've got them out here we're putting them through the paces to answer the question with this huge disparity in price is it money saved or is it money wasted and really that depends on what you want a tire for and what you want out of your tire. There is such a huge gap in the price to the point where you're talking a third to at minimum half the cost of a set of four pro lines. But the sidewalls are weaker on these. They wrinkle under weight. You need to tune your foams more carefully. These are nowhere close to pro lines as far as their actual bite and grip although they might be an actual molded match the compound is nowhere near as good the predator or the g8 but if you're on a budget or you're looking for just a general trail crawling tire and you're going out for a full day's worth multiple battery packs with buddies you know there's going to be a little bit of rough driving and some maybe some bashing and you know horsing around involved and chances are good that you're going to be breaking some stuff you might not want to rip up your 80 dollars set of real pro lines or you know pit bulls or whatever quality tires maybe that's a case when it would be good to have a set of these on hand for 20 bucks or less slap them on your rims take them out for the day if they make it through the day great if they don't you're really not out all that much but really these things do perform quite well um, they're nowhere near the performance of the real thing so if you are somebody that demands that performance all the time skip over these and go right to the pro lines it would be kind of a no-brainer but if you're just looking for a budget trail tire that's pretty good i mean it really is overall pretty good there are a lot better tires out there but you've got to keep in mind the price 
And um, I mean, with that price in mind, these are a pretty good all in all, just kind of general purpose tire. They crawl quite well. I find that they grip well. They've got good bite. The sidewalls, they're a little weak. They are a little weak. The foams that come with them are definitely, uh, they <laughs> leave a lot to be desired. We will leave it at that. But all in all, for 20-ish dollars, I think that they are really good, just kind of general purpose crawler tires. I think that there are a lot more expensive tires out there that do not perform as well as these. I will not say that these perform better than anything here or there, but I will say for certain that there are more expensive name brand tires out there that do not perform as well as these. So just keep that in mind when you're considering these and when you're considering the price to performance. These things have held up really great. I mean, you can see the punishment that these sidewalls get put through. As I've said before, this is extreme conditions. It's 110 plus all the time. These rocks are jagged, rough, coarse, and unforgiving. This is the driest climate you can imagine. It just dry rots tires. There are cactus spines everywhere. Speaking of cactus, look at this absolute freak. I have never seen anything quite like this guy. Um, something must have happened to his top during growth. He kind of got topped and busted off, and there's close to 15 heads growing out here. I just... I've never seen anything quite like it. I've seen stuff with a couple, but nothing quite like this mutant. So I'm going to keep that one in mind, check back on it periodically. But as far as these tires go, money saved versus money wasted, if you're just looking for a good overall versatile tire, definitely money saved. If performance is the thing for you, money wasted. Until next time, guys, take care.